Pivot tables help us <coughs> reveal information that is hidden within volumes of data uh, and hence be able to assist us in decision making. Now in this case we have a, a company that sells uh, animal toys uh, for children through resellers. So we have uh, several different resellers here so all over uh, the world. And we have several different toy, uh, toys such as elephants, giraffes, uh, adverts, zebras, etc. We also have the, the, the years of sales here and the units sold uh, from each one of those uh, sellers per month that the sale was achieved, achieved and also how much money these uh, sales have been summed up to. But really, this, this uh, import of data from our corporate database doesn't really tell too much. And the reason being is that uh, uh, it would tell us something like, for example, if we had a list of, let's say, uh, resellers one by one and their total sales per product or the unit sold per product, as again, and so on and so forth. So let's see how we can actually extract the information that is hidden in this uh, particular table. So what we do is we use a tool that's called pivot table and pivot chart in Excel which is to be found at the insert menu right here and this is the option that we need to select and we will select the pivot chart option so that we have both a, a, a report that reveals the data but also a chart that comes with those data now we will uh, uh, we'll see, we see here that uh, the option selected table or range is selected and we have already selected all the data that we have imported to this spreadsheet. We could also actually use an external data source such as Access, for example, and import the data directly from our database or another source. And we want <coughs> the pivot table to be created in a new worksheet. So we press OK and a new worksheet, as you can see here, appears in this place and let's reduce the size of the screen so we don't use so much and here we have a list of fields that are found in our report in fact these are the headers of our imported data and we also have a tool here that will assist us, assist us soon enough to actually uh, figure out how this uh, view is going to be created. So what I want to do is like I want to have the resellers. So I select the resellers. So you see I get a list of all the resellers in this uh, column here. And then I want a list of the products as well. But I don't want the products here. So actually you see the reseller is placed here. Also the product is placed here. So I will put the product in this place. So like this, I have a column of resellers and a row of products. So let's put the, the chart somewhere else, so it's not in the way. So you see all our products are, are here and all our resellers are here. And now I want to find out, for example, how many units these guys have managed to sell throughout the years. So you see I have that as well. So here I put the uh, totals. So whatever I put here has to be of numeric uh, value uh, so that it can be summed up or even if I want to uh, actually uh, change to something different. So also observe that uh, this thing here has actually uh, created for me a chart which I might maximize for you and I can actually see the different types of products here in my chart also. It has applied filters so actually I can see specific products. For example, I can deselect everything and, sorry, uh, not products, resellers and see what Adventure Works, for example, does only. So I get only to see those. And the same goes for column levels here so I can actually deselect everything and see what, how artworks do in, bus in my business. So like this, I can actually see only a particular reseller 
on your particular product and how this particular program did in a year. Or if you like, I can see all the resellers for that particular product only. So I can actually experiment with those filters and I can also experiment with uh, those areas here and create completely different and distinct reports. For example, I can place the resellers from here to a report filter like this and get results only for uh, uh, the artwork having to do with all resellers. So here I see how artworks did but for all resellers and then I can actually choose differently or actually even choose if I click here several different resellers and have the totals for those. So there's a number of things I can do. However, for this exercise what's required is to actually do what we saw at the beginning, which all the resellers and all the products. Thank you for attending this tutorial.